Cancer is a problem. Historically, it's had a very bad outcome, and so it's a very scary thing. Um, in the recent several decades, things have gotten a lot better for certain cancers. The technologies that are being developed are um, just astonishing. Um, they're expensive, um, and they give huge amounts of information, but finding the, the, the resources to actually do those experiments and you know, come up with really, truly optimal out outcomes is more and more of a challenge. And how do you get all those in pieces of information together in a data set that you can sort of understand and visualize and interact with and manipulate in some way to actually extract more information out of it? That's big data. A lot of people are sort of visual thinkers and they sort of see stuff and they understand it better. Um, I certainly am. Uh, and so building systems where you see it and you understand it visually, um, uh, it just has a huge impact on the way that you understand what you're looking at. One of the things we've been working on here at the Fred Hutch is trying to design tools that will allow us to do that, to see gigantic data sets and, and interact with them and, and understand them. Um, and uh, the tool we've been working on is, is named Oncoscape. Or what makes it sort of different than other, other tools that have been built like it uh, is it is a series of applications that are all linked together um, that will take both clinical and molecular information uh, and display it and, and, and analyze it in a particular way where you can then um, take a subset of either patients or genes or whatever, whatever the analysis is for that particular application uh, and move that to a different application and analyze that in a different way. This kind of analysis with enough data and the right tools could really change the way we think about us as a whole, as a species, you know, how we interact with the world around us.